Hey there, YouTubers. Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Thanks for tuning in. We had a quick question from Apinan, and he said that um, he's trying to limit the selection area that people can select on his worksheet. And he's trying to write this code me.scrollArea equals the range of A1 through A50 and F1 through F50, but he says it doesn't work. And so we can help him. Let's go to our, our workbook that's blank here. And just to show you what he's talking about, if you hit Alt F11 to go into the Visual Basic Editor, let's say you clicked on Sheet 1 that we're looking at here, there is a dot scroll area of that current worksheet. So what's the scroll area though? I mean, first of all, you cannot put uh, range A1 through A50, comma F1 through F50 in there. It'll say invalid property value. Furthermore, you can't even put that. In with or without the parentheses or with or without the quotes. The reason being, the scroll area is the area that you're able to scroll to. So <clears throat> you can't say, I want to scroll, I want to be able to scroll from A1 to A50, but nowhere in between there, and then also F1 through F50. That would be, I mean, there's impossible to limit the scroll ability of B through E. So you have to put the first cell in the range and the last cell and not a multiple range. So let's show you that. You could have the scroll area equal to A1 through uh, A uh, F50, though. If you did that, it would it would approve that. So let's just to show you that I'm going to scroll down. You notice I'm scrolling and it's not working because that's A50 uh, or A1 through uh, F50. So uh, furthermore, if I try to hit the right arrow anymore, I can't get past F. Right, 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 right. So I'm stuck. I can't click anywhere outside of the boundaries of A1 through F50. So that's the scroll area. That's the area you're allowed to be at. Now, if you wanted to limit multiple things, I, I wouldn't mess with that necessarily. I mean, you could leave that in there. I'll leave that in there, but the thing that you're wanting to do is protect cells, I think. So let's click on A1 through A50 and hold Control, and that will do F1 through F50 as well. So we've got those two ranges selected. Hit Control 1, that's your uh, formatting, and it'll start here, but we'll go to the Protection tab. Let's unlock only these selected areas from protection, uh, from being locked down, and then the, uh, the other cells in the workbook by default are uh, per, are locked, so the other, only ones they can select are those. When we protect it, we have to protect the sheet. So to protect, the keyboard shortcut is Alt, then T, P, P, that's Alt, Tools, Protect, Protect Document. So, and then by, the, by default, this is selected. Let's deselect that so that they cannot even select locked cells, if that's what you're wanting. Otherwise, they can select it, but they can't type on them. It'll give them an error. So let's just even not even let them select the locked cells, but be able to select the unlocked cells, like the A1 and the F1 and all that. So if we do that, now the worksheet is protected. It's in protected mode. I cannot click on anything unless it is in F or unless it's in A, A1 through A50. And my scroll area is still set, so I can't even scroll and take a peek at uh, A51 or F51. So that's the difference between scroll area of the worksheet and uh, the cell protection level. Thanks for watching and God bless guys. Don't forget to head over to Excel VBA is fun for more cool tools, resources, premium content and other things and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you like this speed tip please click the like button and leave a comment if you'd like to leave a comment. Thanks and God bless.